Hello, Commander. Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and this is a mission where we attempt to secure a disabled UFO. Sometimes these UFOs end up chasing us around the map, and uh, if they make a, an unsuccessful attempt to take us down, uh, they may land and then we can try and raid them for supplies and lots of different enemy types, things like that. Uh, they can also crash as well, so if you're interested in seeing a crashed UFO, then uh, let me know and I can try to uh, bring up one of those missions as well. So, uh, let's head in here. So here's the squad we're gonna take out. From left to right, we've got Miley, Wreckball Cyrus, we've got Pharrell Happy Williams, we've got Oprah O. Winfrey, and we've got Yennefer Yen of Vangerberg. So we've got a few colonels and a captain with us here. Uh, this should be pretty interesting. It says easy, uh, but we're playing on Legend, so nothing's really easy, and things could go either way. Uh, in case you're wondering what these little add-ons are, let me show you. Uh, so, we've got Trace Around, first of all, which just grants bonus aim to a soldier when they are equipped. Uh, Pharrell is carrying an incendiary grenade, which does more damage, and it applies the burning effect to any unit vulnerable to flame. Gas grenade is cool, it has a larger radius than standard frag grenades, and uh, poison gas can uh, really do damage against organic enemies. Uh, Oprah Winfrey is carrying dragon rounds, and basically these just do extra damage, and have a chance to set targets of flame. Can't complain about that. And then Yennefer is carrying AP rounds, and basically these just ignore up to five points of armor, which is significant and uh, has a pretty huge impact. So let's uh, let's jump in. forces managed to disable a UFO that's set down in this region. We've got an opportunity here to grab valuable tech from it before the aliens have a chance to recover. Eliminate any hostile resistance in the area and secure the site to retrieve the assets. The mission names, they, uh, they never let me down. This is Operation Godwagon. UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. Squad is concealed. Okay, so let's uh, let's just scout things out here a little bit. It's pretty far away. Uh, we are getting to starting concealment, which is always nice. Uh, let's start with Yennefer and just start scouting a little bit. Um, she has a lot of really cool abilities. I talked about this a little bit on the Avenger defense mission, um, and we had a great, great run with Reaper. Um, it was really, really cool, actually. And uh, I'll try to talk about some of the other abilities that I may not have covered in that video, just in case uh, you don't see both. moving out. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna risk this and jump ahead into the darkness. All right, what do we got there? That was something. I don't know what it was, but it was something. I'm gonna run Miley up here. Move, move, move. No, still can't see it. All right, well, I feel pretty comfortable then moving everybody as far up as possible. Move, move, move. Good to go. And even though there's no rush, per se, uh, I still feel like... Well, I, I don't know. At least when I compare my play f uh, now, playing XCOM 2 for the last uh, few weeks, compared to the way I play XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, I've taken on a much more aggressive play style and like I'll put my guys into a risky position if it means that it could pay off. Um, okay, let's go ahead and jump down here with Yennefer. I try to only move one um, like one movement point at a time even when we're in concealment just because 
I've been, been burned so many times where I'll just dash right into uh, Fog of War thinking everything's gonna be fine, and it isn't. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Like, it's bad for me, but maybe cool for you guys if you haven't seen it. This enemy is called a Codex, and I can't really tell you the story behind the Codex, but what I can tell you is they're very, very, very dangerous. And uh, I'll tell you a couple things just in case it doesn't work out where you can see all of their abilities. But uh, essentially every time it takes damage, unless it does the entire... Uh, health of the codex it will split and make a clone of itself and then if that clone takes damage and doesn't get killed it will split again and it's really really bad they can also teleport anywhere they want they can also shoot you with like crazy thin men style accuracy and uh yeah it's all bad news from there um one of the cool things that hopefully we'll get to use is uh miley cyrus's serial um, ability and basically it's a chain shot so if you kill anything you get those action points returned so you can just kill 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 for as much ammo as you have and I'm really tempted I'm really tempted to go for this um, and maybe this is this is where we good copy moving on target we can do our ambush. But you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll move uh, Pharrell up a little bit. And let's just make sure that we have everybody available for uh, for our ambush here. Because this, be, this could be really, really crucial. Okay. So, Yennefer, what are your shots like? 91? I like that. Wondering if it couldn't be a little better. Also don't want to be greedy. Yeah, I think we'll try that. Or, you know what we could even do? We could use a grenade if we wanted. Or we could just take the 100% with Miley. Why don't we do that? thing is, and, and the reason I'm debating here is because if we use the kill zone and this thing splits inside of this cone and lands inside of this cone, we may get another shot off. I'm not sure, actually. I've never used kill zone against a codex before. Um, but they are definitely going to run. And this will give us two overwatch shots um, because it'll shoot at anything that moves in that kill zone. So maybe I'll Area do that. Lockdown. And then 81 or 85. Let's take the 85 with Yen after we set an ambush here. Or maybe what we could do, we could try chain shot. 63%, you take a minus 15 aim, but if you hit, uh, you take another shot on the target automatically. And this would deal a ton of damage. Um, but it has to hit in the first place, so maybe we don't do that. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Okay, let's overwatch here. And I'm gonna go for the Viper. Not quite as much damage as we hoped, but at least the Viper doesn't split in half. Yeah, so that worked out pretty good. Minus one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. <laughs> Doesn't always go that uh, that well on the ambushes, but when they do, it just feels like that's the best feeling when it works out like that. 
We did have everybody positioned extremely well, though. Um, that helped. But now, let's try and get in there a bit. Okay, Oprah, let's move you up as well. Yen, let's go ahead and grab the wall, I guess? Whatever you say. And Pharrell will get you in close Moving as well. These missions are great because it's kind of like, for me anyways, it's a throwback to all of the UFO landings or UFO crashes in uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within. And those are the missions where you would typically take, like, you might take out some rookies or whatever, and it's not too serious, but here it's, um, it's pretty, can be pretty serious. Not a problem. Okay, we're gonna stack up on these doors here. Moving you can probably imagine the layout. Well, you can see the layout just like that. So, this will give us action in here and in here with, uh, grenade launchers if necessary. And, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use scanning uh, protocol here. And this is a skill where, when it came up in the skill tree, I was kind of like, man, I don't think that... Like, I just don't see me ever really using this. And I couldn't be more wrong. Basically, it will show us enemies, even if they're behind um, cover. So let's try it here. Let's see what we find. There we go. So what's cool about that is it's not like a battle scanner where you toss it out there and it hits anything within its, you know, kind of detection range. This will hit anything, whether it's behind walls, um, through cover, whatever, and... Uh, you can only use it once per turn, so just to be able to plan out, like, your approach, uh, it's, it's absolutely outstanding. Okay, so let's just overwatch here for now. Until we can get everybody near the door. Okay, now we'll bring Miley in, bring Oprah in, one more round of Overwatch, and then we infiltrate. Okay. Nice thing is, is we can remotely hack this, so we've got three turns. Um, it's not the end of the world. Let's open this up. Okay, this is going to be tough. Let's open this side as well. Not very good shots here. We could use demolition to blow some cover if we wanted to. Um gas grenade might not be a terrible idea. Let's maybe toss a gas grenade in here. Poison has some other effects that can help us out. And let's see. I kind of want to go after this guy here. But then I'm sitting in the open, which I don't like as much. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to run and gun. We're going to come back here, flank this guy, hopefully kill him. Menace 1 5, that's the distress beacon. Move in and disable it before the aliens get a bead on the UFO. Working on it. That'll do. Good job, Yen. You know that was good. 
Okay, I can't quite make it all the way back here. Um, but this might work. This might give me enough vision of the console to hack it. Not quite, but we can get it next time. And then let's go ahead. Hmm, I don't really like this positioning either. Let's use kill zone in case they move. I expect that they might. I'm on it. Poison can throw them off. Alright, so the shield bear is still poisoned. That'll do. Come on. Oh no! It's okay, Miley. Now this is, this really sets us back when he does that. Um, gives three armor to anybody that's around him. And three armor is a lot to try and get through. Okay, let's bring Oprah way. in here. And let's just get this thing hacked so we know that's done. Now, any, like, mission-critical hacks, they're always guaranteed. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then you can get another benefit here if you hit that certain threshold. Uh, so I'm gonna say recover a mission lead on an alien facility. Although, it's not really important because I'm just doing this mission as a one-off for you guys. But, uh, it's pretty cool that some of the hacking can impact your... Your base We've defense, it can impact your like hacking stats. It's not just like disable this unit or take control of this unit. There's a lot more to it. Okay, this guy's sitting here. Um, now, we get a free reload, and I'll show you why. If you look over uh, at your weapon, you can see the upgrades that we have. And I've got an advanced auto loader, which means I get two free reloads uh, every mission. And then I also have a repeater, which is 5% chance on every shot to just get an instant kill. And if that ever happens, it'll show you like a little repeater icon saying it came up. There are um, basic versions like the repeater I have here. There's advanced versions and there's superior versions. And they all increase the um, kind of intensity of the effect. So there's a superior repeater, which 15% of the time will give you an instant kill regardless of if you uh, did enough damage to kill the enemy or not. So it's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Let's do our free reload here. Back online. And the reason it changed because it was actually showing our uh, pistol stats there. So... Let's see, do I want to just... Like, I gotta try and shred some of this armor, but... I'm gonna get rid of this wall. Uses up two ammo, but uh, I mean, I think it's I think it's worth it. Let's start digging away at him. So great. He absorbed a bunch of the shield, the shield's removed. That's the nice thing, is that um, once it's gone, it's gone for these guys. I can't get a shot from there. I don't really like this half cover. But I can slash from here, so I'm in fact gonna take it. That'll do. Did he get stunned as well? Yes, he did. That's amazing. So, um, she has an arc blade, which is an upgraded version of the 
the first sword that you get. And it has a chance to stun. It doesn't happen very often, but pretty cool that it happened there. Oh, hello. So they weren't even discovered yet, and they got the shield bearer bonus as well. That hurts. Okay, so he's overwatched. Now he's stunned for two turns, so we could probably just leave him be. But I also feel like we could probably work on better positioning here. Let's try and use our hollow targeting a bit. Where's a good spot for us? If I go in here, we don't have any shots. I can hollow target this big guy here, and maybe we go after him. But I have way more shots here, actually. Let's do this. Let's maybe try and take out the shield bearer in the back. Not a very good chance to hit. So I'll tell you what, let's fire these guys up a little bit. Pun intended. Things are getting bad in here. <laughs> Things are getting real bad. There's not going to be a lot of places we can move here very shortly. Um, I may also use our capacitor discharge here. It's basically going to do like a jolt of electricity in the area. Um, and it has a chance to stun. It's better against robotic enemies, but... Maybe I can... Let's see how it impacts these two guys here. There we go. It's massive. That's a really good ability. You can only use it once per mission, but still. They're both disoriented. That's pretty great. Now, okay. I am going to go into Reaper mode here. And if you didn't see the Reaper from the base defense, it's basically like a chaining uh, melee attack. Now, I am going to have to be poisoned here, it looks like. And I'm okay with that. Let's get going. So how this works is... As long as you kill something, you can then chain another attack, kill again. If you kill that one, you can kill again. Um, but what happens is, each turn, the damage output is decreased a little bit. So, that's how they kind of keep it fair, I guess you'd say. Now, I'm thinking... Maybe I can reach this guy, and then I could probably take this one out instead of trying to get back there into the fire pit. I'm already poisoned, so it's not going to hurt to really run back through. Let's go for it. Oh, that hurts. Okay. That's the poison impact to me, I'm guessing. Do I have anywhere where I can get the shot on that guy? I could go here. It's not guaranteeing me anything. Let's just take this guy out then. That'll do. The poison will take him. I'm okay with that. Have these guys caught fire yet? Oh, we dropped something too. Advanced hair trigger, very nice. And advanced conditioning. Uh, PCS are personal combat sims, I believe they're called. 
And uh, these are permanent upgrades to your soldier. Um, you can only have one at a time. And uh, yeah, like this one's great, plus two HP. Like how can you go wrong? What am I doing with this? Well, that answers that question. They are burning. Crazy thing is when you're burning, it really, like you can't do a lot. It stops you from attacking, using abilities. It's, um, it's pretty bad. I think you can just do standard attacks. But, um, I'm all right. yeah, it, it really debilitates you. And this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's right! I always forget about Untouchable. <laughs> it almost feels unfair. Um, but the way that Untouchable works, so this is actually really a pretty cool skill. Um, where is it? Here it is. So, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. So you're not gonna miss all the shots. If they sh shoot four times at you, uh, you're not gonna dodge all four, for sure. Um, but the, uh, the first one will always miss. That includes, like, grenades, um, explosives, anything like that. Okay. Let's see, who else can try out some of their skills? That's about it. Um, I do have combat protocol, which is nice. You can deal guaranteed damage. It's only two, or it's four damage now because we have the upgraded, uh, gremlins. So I'm actually gonna use this on the guy in the corner here. Uh, but I love this ability, and it's between this or the remote healing. And, uh, combat protocol is cool because if you do damage to somebody, you remove overwatch. And even though it's only two damage, there are so many times when being able to remove overwatch has saved me. Uh, now it's four damage because we've got, uh, upgraded gremlins, but... Even when it's only two, it's still worth it. I'm really hoping that this is the last guy, and I'm pretty sure that it is. Can I see him from anywhere? Doesn't look like it. I could, I could run out here and try and take him down. It's a bit, uh, scary. What about Pharrell? You know what? Let's have Yennefer try and do it. Oh, that's good. Counterattack. <laughs> okay, so that's a thing. Never seen that before. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. And now, I will move in here. We've got hollow targeting. We're gonna be right up close with a pistol. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Good job, Miley. I definitely got that one. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So there we go. That's Operation Godwagon. That's a landed UFO mission. Uh, if there's any other types of missions that you guys would like to see, let me know. Um, I will be doing kind of like one-off, uh, interesting missions. I might do some retaliation missions, which are kind of like the new terror missions. Um, but I am doing a full, like, preview build Let's Play as well. So if you want to just see the progression from beginning to kind of where we are here, then, uh, you can follow me on that playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you again soon, and, uh, take care. Bye. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. The world you once knew is no more.